Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a collective beauty haul because let's be real here, it's been a hot minute since the last time I filmed like a big haul like this, so I felt like I owed it to you guys. Plus, I did splurge a little bit over this past month and I was obligated to share it with you. So I do have a box right here. It is a Sephora box so I ordered some stuff from Sephora.com. Don't worry, all of this stuff is not from Sephora because let's be completely honest here, don't nobody got money like that. I know I sure don't. So this is going to be a mixture between MAC, Ulta, Sephora, Walgreens, CVS, and that kind of stuff. So I really, really do hope you guys like this haul, and we're going to go ahead and jump into it. And if you guys are sitting there wondering, girl, why aren't you talking about your haircut? That's because I don't want to make this intro super duper long. So if you guys want to know about my haircuts, I'm going to talk about it towards the very end of the video. So you'll find out there. I guess I will start off with the random hair care items I have just chilling in the box. And I specifically went to Ulta for hair care items just for the simple fact that you guys know color my hair, it's a little bit dry, over damaged, over damaged, over processed and damaged due to all of the bleaching. So I knew I needed a hair mask. That way I could use it maybe once or twice a week to kind of repair my hair. And the mask I decided to go with was the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Hair Repair Mask and I am so glad that I did. I've used this maybe four to five times and I've seen a huge difference in my hair already. It's so much easier to blow dry. Let me tell you, before I started using this, my hair was so hard to blow dry. I could barely get the brush to the ends and the ends of my hair would not completely smooth out. They were still a little bit dry. They looked like a broomstick. So after using this a few times a week in my hair I was like damn so I really really do love this stuff it really brings that moisture back into your hair and kind of revitalize those damaged ends that you do have after bleaching so highly highly recommend this it is definitely pricey but totally worth it to me and I picked up the Redken Soul Fate Free Shampoo and this is the Color Extend Magnetic Obviously I got color extend because my hair is color treated and I really got I really gravitated towards this one was because it was sulfate free and a lot of people were telling me to try sulfate free shampoos because they don't really strip your hair from all of those natural oils. From Physicians Formula I also picked up a concealer and this is the Conceal RX Concealer. It's a concentrated formula for maximum coverage, comfort, and ultra long wear. It has a natural smooth finish. I'm reading it off the box. And it says it lasts up to 12 hours. Don't really know about any of that. I'm definitely going to give it a try. I picked this up because I really wanted to venture outside of my regular Maybelline concealers that I'm always used to wearing. So I picked up this bad boy. We'll see how it goes. Not really sure. Then I picked up some eyeshadows from Milani and I picked up the gel tooth powder eyeshadows which are like the single ones. I picked up five just because I wanted to try them out before picking up any other colors. And I picked up this one in Mandarin. I really do love this one. It's kind of like an orangey shade. I really like the consistency of these shadows. They're very easy to blend and they're just a dream. Extremely pigmented. The next one I picked up is Bella Chiffon. Then I picked up Bella Taupe, which is this taupey color. Bella Espresso, which is like a deep brown color. And then also Bella Cafe. So I picked up a lot of brown colors just because I was looking for that perfect crease color. So we'll see if any of these tend to be that perfect crease color and maybe I'll create like a neutral look I don't even know. So the rest of the items in here are high-end products. I'm gonna start off with Benefit. This product was sent to me by Benefit themselves and it is their new Majorette blush. It is a cream to powder finish and I really do like the blush. Basically, you just take your finger. It's extremely creamy. It feels like obviously a cream product. Then when you apply it to your hand, it kind of transforms into a powder finish, which I really like. This is the blush color right here. It's a very faint kind of natural tone blush, which is something I like. So it's not too overpowering and too in your face. And a lot of people with cream blushes, they find that they don't like them because they're too creamy. And if you have oily skin, it tends to make you look oily, but that's definitely not the case with this blush. So I'm going to be using it in a tutorial very soon, so be on the lookout for that. The next thing I got from Benefit was another professional primer. You guys know I love this stuff. It's the tits. It really helps minimize the appearance of larger pores. It creates a really nice canvas for my foundation to adhere to. A lot of people say, you know, I can't get my foundation as smooth as yours. Well, maybe you should try to use a primer because that really creates a barrier from your skin, your primer, and your foundation, and it makes it glide on a lot smoother and a lot more easy. So give a primer a try. I really like the Benefit one. It's been a repurchase forever. The next product I'm going to show you is from Too Faced, and this is 
the Bulletproof Brows. I got mine in Universal Brunette because the other one, I believe, is Universal Taupe. And that one is a little bit more, you know, for blondes. So this is what the product looks like. It comes in a little container like this. You flip it open. It has a mirror right here. It also has a little flip open thingamajig and you flip it open and it's kind of like a gel consistency in there. I haven't swatched it or tried it out so I'm not really sure how it's going to look on my brows. And then also what's really neat about this is it comes with a spoolie applicator. So it comes with the brush right here and then it has a spoolie right there to kind of apply the product and blend it out. So I think that was definitely a steal. I got this from $10 at Ulta which was a steal. It was like their 21 days of beauty thing. Woo! Moving right along, I accidentally forgot to show you one more product from Benefit, and it's Benefit's Give Me Brow. This stuff is amazing. It's magic in a tube for real, and it is the Medium Deep Brow Gel. What I really like about this is that it's a natural finish, so on those days where I really don't want to fill in my eyebrows, but I still want to look okay, I do take this and brush it through my eyebrows, and at least a tip behind the hairs of my brows, so that way they look like they're filled in, but it takes like two seconds. So I got this in medium deep. The next item I'm going to show you is I'm wearing it on my face because I love it. And it is the Becca Highlighter in Opal. This was a splurge. I believe it was around like $40 or so, but this is awesome. I love it and everybody raves about it. And I had to order it online because it was sold out in like Ulta and Sephora. So this is basically what the highlighter looks like. I'm wearing it today and literally I wore this for the first time today and I went to the mall with my mom and everybody complimented me on my makeup and I kind of do the same thing but I got so many so much more compliments when I wore this highlighter so I'm thinking this bit right here it's a really nice pearlescent it's not too white it's kind of like a champagne color so I like it a lot. You guys should definitely pick it up if you haven't. I know it's really hard to get your hands on because it's so raved about here on YouTube, but you'll find it eventually. The next item I picked up is some lipsticks. Now you guys know I'm a complete lip junkie, but I just had to, and I picked up two lipsticks from NARS. Now these are pretty pricey. These I believe are $32 a pop, which is insane for a lipstick, but I kind of think they're worth it just because of the pigmentation and the formula is so creamy. They're just great. They're a lot different than their normal lipsticks. I mean, their regular line of lipsticks can't even compare to these. That's how great they are. They come in a really nice, sleek packaging, so it looks pretty expensive, and it should for every reason since it's $32 a pop. So this one right here is in the shade Anita. So basically this is what it looks like. That's just like one time up and one time down. That's how pigmented it is. And I haven't worn this lipstick yet on my list, but I'm really excited to do so. The only reason I haven't worn it is because I wanted to show it in the video. And the next one I got from NARS is the one I'm wearing on my lips and I wore it purposely so that way you guys can see how amazing it is. And this one is in the shade called Jane. And and this is the swatch. Tell me that's not amazing. That's Anita and that's Jane right here. As you can see, you can see all my lips and it is amazing. It's kind of like this rustic orangey brown color if that makes sense. It, it's like this shirt right here. That's like the color on my lips and I love it. Wore it today and got so many compliments and paired with that lipstick, I decided to go to MAC and pick up a lip liner that kind of matches it pretty darn well and I was surprised that it matched this well and this one is in the shade Chicory. I absolutely love it with this lip liner and it just works really nice. This lip liner isn't too dark to the point where it's going to alter, you know, the color of this lipstick. So that's what I like about it. And it's matte. You can wear this by yourself if you don't want to wear the lipstick and still get the same color payoff. So I'm happy that I found this at MAC. The next item I have are two more lipsticks and of course they are from MAC and this one is in the shade Del Rio and this just brings that 90s you know vibe back. This is what it looks like right here. This one is in the shade Del Rio so it's a little bit more of a brownish color. Like I said it reminds me so much of that 90s lip color trend that's been going all around and this one is a satin and the next one I picked up 
I was conned by like the Mac lady. She was like, oh, have you tried Kinda Sexy? I'm like, yeah, have it. Have you tried Honey Love? Yeah, have it. And then she showed me Velvet Teddy and I've been wanting Velvet Teddy for a really long time. And when she showed it to me, I was like, I just need it. So this is Velvet Teddy right here. It's a little bit more browner than Honey Love and also kind of sexy. It's a little bit more on the pinkish side. So this is Velvet Teddy. Finally, I have it in my possession. So now I'm not going to want it anymore. And this lipstick is a matte shade. So had to do it. Had to do it. Since we're still talking about lip products, I might as well show you this lipstick that I got from Lime Crime. Well, it's not a lipstick, it's one of their Velveteens. You guys know I used this in my last video and a lot of you guys really did like it. I don't even know how to swatch this, but this is it right here. It is a true brown color, and normally I don't gravitate towards browns on my lips, but when I see this, I had to have it. So this is Salem right here. It's amazing, and I love it. And I love the staying power. It's very long-lasting, and it's just amazing. It does retail for $20. Shipping is okay with Lime Crime, so go get it. If you like that tutorial, you need this. Like, it's my go-to lip color for the fall right now, for sure. These next items are from Anastasia and they were sent to me. I have no shame in my game. They were sent to me, oh well. So the first one is the Maya Mia palette and this is what it looks like. You guys know um, Anastasia did some collaborations with some vloggers. She did the Amrezi, the Maya Mia, and also the Dress Your Face. I was sent over the Maya Mia palette, which I am obsessed with. Basically, this is what the colors look like. It has this really pretty blue color, which is like a nice pop of color. It also has a mixture between like warm tone shadows and also cool tone. It has some matte and satin and one shimmer so I love it you guys know I love the pigmentation of Anastasia's shadows I was obsessed with the lavish palette and when they came out with these I was like <laughs> <laughs> and I was so happy that they chose to send this to me. So I got the Maya Mia one and I also, surprisingly enough, got the Tamana Dress Your Face palette. So this is what that looks like. It kind of reminds me of the Amrezi with the color, you know, scheme of the palette, but I can't really compare because I don't have the Amrezi palette. But this is what the Dress Your Face palette looks like. It has a really pretty, you know, array of colors. Also a mixture between satin and matte. So I really like this. It has more warmer tone colors if you ask me. And yeah, I'm excited to do looks with this as well. Also from Anastasia, I received this brush and it is the brush in number three. I really like this brush. I got it with a gel liner and it is their waterproof cream color in the shade Jet. So it is an extremely, extremely dark liner. I have used it a handful of times, but I'm not really sure how I feel about it compared to my Urban Decay Pro Version Gel Liner. So I'm going to give a try. This is it swatch on my hand right here. It's extremely black and definitely a long wearing eyeliner. I have to try it out for a couple more days in order to know how I feel about it. But this is how it looks on my eyes because I did use this liner to line my eyes today. Then the next thing I got from Anastasia is going to be a waterproof cream color liner in Azure. Azure? Am I saying that right? I don't know. But it is this pretty blue color and this is definitely a really nice pop of color for the eyes. You can use this as liner or right underneath your lower lash line. That's what that color looks like. It's this really pretty blue metallic. So I'm not sure how I'm going to use this, but I'm definitely going to use this in a look so that way you guys can see what it looks like. Also from Anastasia, I got the Metallic Luster Liner in Liquid Gold. And guys, this thing is amazing. Basically, this is what it looks like swatch on my hand. It's this really pretty like metallic gold color. I feel like it's really going to transform any makeup look. You can use it as like an inner corner highlight, also on the lower lash line or all over the lid as a base even as a liner I don't know how I'm gonna use it or implement it into a tutorial just yet but I'm definitely definitely gonna use it because I love love this color and I don't have anything like it in my makeup collection which is always a plus the last and final thing I did pick up is not from MAC, it's not from Ulta, it's not from Sephora, and it's not from Walgreens, but it is from Lush. Now this is my first ever Lush purchase, and I'm extremely happy about it. I did decide to pick up a well-known mask here on YouTube, and it is the Mask of Magnum Minty. Now everyone raves about this thing, and I was like, I need something for my face because I tried a foundation, and it completely broke me out, so I had to return it, and I am stuck with a huge zit on my face, so I needed something that was going to help with acne and also, you know, make my face feel really nice. And I decided to pick this one up. It's just a green glob mess in there. 
but it smells amazing. It smells like peppermint. If you don't like peppermint, you're probably not going to like this, but I really like the feeling it gives my face when I apply it. And my face just feels so good afterwards, like when I wash it all off. It's just smooth and nice and yeah, it's, it's great. So I picked this up. I'm going to use it for a little bit longer to see how I really feel about it and try to incorporate it into my skincare routine. So. We'll see how this goes. It says it is a face and back mask. I don't know. So that basically wrapped up my whole entire collective haul. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it, find it helpful. I don't know, something like that. I know it had to benefit somebody. But I know some of you guys are waiting towards the very end of the video to know why I decided to chop my hair off. Now, you guys know I did my hair about a month, I would say a month and a half ago. And the first lady I went to, I told you guys she completely messed me up and I had to go to Sarah and I said she fixed me up and all this stuff. But the reality of it is that the lady messed my hair up so bad the first time that when Sarah did it, she couldn't really, you know, fix it completely without chopping off a good amount of length. And since I was going to LA, like a few days later, I didn't want to make the big chop and feel completely awkward and just feel like not myself. So I decided to kind of mask the fact that my hair was jacked up. So Sarah went ahead and created two hair clips that I had to clip on the side of my head to kind of make my hair all one length because when the lady cut it, she cut a huge gap in my hair like that big on this side. And I was just so devastated. And every time I looked in the mirror without the hair extensions, I was just like, I look a hot mess because I'm missing hair and I decided you know since you already cut your hair once you might as well just go for the big chop chop it up to where she messed it up and it will all grow up to one length so that unfortunately is what I had to do it really hurt me in fact when I was getting my hair good I was crying because that's how bad I didn't want to cut my hair but lesson learned you never go to somebody who you don't really trust not necessarily saying my hair looks bad I do like it I'm gonna rock the short hair for a little bit until it grows out that's just the reality that's what I have to do so yeah that's the reasoning behind me cutting my hair short and now my hair is finally gonna grow one length and it's not gonna have a million different layers in it because I've struggled with short layers like almost all of my life so we're gonna get back into the swing of things we're gonna grow the hair out we're gonna keep taking hair affinity and just see how it goes so yeah, that's my miniature story and I don't really have anything else to say. Let me know what product you guys like the most or what products you've tried. Let me know what you guys think of them if you have any of the ones I mentioned. And until next time, I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.